Hello and welcome to Impro at Cooking with Dopefish number 7. Today we will be doing some barbecue. Because it's summer and everyone likes a good barbecue in the summer. We'll be doing a apple marinated pork with a grilled sweet salad on the side. Let's get straight to it. I've got a nice piece of pork sirloin here. This recipe would work for any other kind of pork though, like tenderloin or even pork chops. So feel free to use whatever kind of pork you want. I'm gonna be cutting some scores into this, just to make sure that the marinade really hits home. And also it makes it easier to cut up once it's done. If you're gonna score it, make sure you score it through the fat. You really wanna leave that fat on, because it'll bring a really nice moistness to the meat. I'm also gonna go ahead and cut my meat in half, just to make it easier to handle on the grill. Now, let's make the marinade. Into a bowl, we will be adding some oil. Apple cider vinegar, some mustard, some tomato puree, and a little bit of brown sugar. To that, we're going to add some concentrated apple juice, some salt, one phone, and some pepper, and a little bit of chili flakes, just for fun. Give that a good stir, and then we're just gonna add our meat straight in. Of course, you could put this in bags if you want to, I didn't feel like it, so I just Put the meat in there and put some plastic wrap on top and put it in the refrigerator. We're going to marinate this for three, four hours maybe. Longer could be better. I wouldn't recommend doing it overnight because there's so much acidity going on here. You know, three, four hours is good. Now that the meat is marinating, we're going to prepare our sweet grilled salad. Gonna have some peppers in there, of course two types. We're gonna have a lot of garlic. Garlic's really good when you grill it. Gonna add some sweet, sweet onions, and the uh, crowning ingredient here is the apples. I'm using Granny Smith. Something nice and tart would be the best, because it kind of balances out the sweetness. Anyway, just go ahead and prepare all your vegetables, and then we're going to make the dressing. Of course, you can use whatever kind of vegetable you prefer. Uh, anything that goes well on the grill goes well in this salad. Anyway, let's move on to our dressing. We're going to use some of this sweet mango balsamic vinegar. It's uh, it's nice. I'm not sure if you can get it. It might not be available where you are. You can use regular balsamic vinegar. That's fine. Anyway, into that we're going to add some mango salsa. We're going to add some brown sugar yet again. We're going to add some honey and then some celery salt. And we're going to give that a good shake, and that's our dressing done. It's going to be a bit sour and a bit sweet. It's really nice. Oh yeah, we're also going to do some corn, because grilled corn is like the best thing ever. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and cut it in half. Make sure you keep your fingers out of there, because it's kind of hard to cut this corn with a regular knife. So our meat has been marinating, and our grill is hot and ready to go, just like your mom. Oh wait. Anyway, uh, we're gonna put the meat on here. There's no need to pat off the marinade or anything. It'll get burnt off quickly enough and it'll help caramelizing the meat a little bit. Just uh, gonna go ahead and put the meat on there by itself until it is nice and uh, browned on all sides. Gonna have some nice grill marks on there. It's gonna be sweet. Now, once the meat is nice and caramelized on the outside, we're gonna go ahead and wrap it in some foil to let the inside cook. This will be cooked with the lid on for the most part. I couldn't actually get any footage of that because my camera placement was really awkward. But uh, yeah, just put the lid on as soon as uh, things are happening. Open up the lid, stir the vegetables around, flip the little foil package. And of course we're going to be brushing on that dressing onto the vegetables every couple of minutes. Just stir them around, brush on the dressing, put the lid on, come back in a couple of minutes, take off the lid, brush the vegetables, and so on, until they are nice and done. And once they're done, your meat should also be done. Uh, if you're feeling like a pussy, of course you could use a thermometer or something. You don't want the pork to be raw inside, obviously. It can be slightly pink, that's how I uh, usually make mine. So there's that slight, slight pink in the color. But of course you want it to be cooked through. There's plenty of harmful bacteria and parasites and shit in pork, I guess. So you definitely don't want it to be raw. Anyway, once that is done, and my corn also got grilled of course, and once that's done, I cut the meat up using the scores I'd made earlier into perfect little pieces, and it was delicious! Oh my god, it was so good. The side salad there with the... the it's like sweet and grilled and 
the garlic gives it a nice sort of flavor to the whole salad and oh man I wish I had some more right now this is this always happens when I do these goddamn dope of the past needs to learn how to freaking save some leftovers oh, oh well uh, I hope you enjoyed the improve with cooking guys um, it's my first grill or barbecue one so that's a bit different anyway if you have any requests send them to me in PMs feel free to inform me what I did right or wrong in the comments of course as usual I hope you enjoyed it guys see you next time